Hi, I'm Michael N. Volterra of SeattleMoneyCoach.com, and I'm a financial coach and a writer and a speaker. And I want to do another video on the recent ebook that I wrote on Lakshmi, the goddess of abundance. And here's the cover. This is just one image of Lakshmi. There's there's many images, obviously. I call this ebook the Yoga Goddess of Abundance: Lessons from Lakshmi. And Lakshmi is a very ancient goddess. She hails from India and she's revered all over the world in not just Hinduism, but in uh, Buddhism and, you know, more and more as contemplative yoga spirituality has come to the West, Raja Yoga, as some people would, would name it, um, more and more of these ideas, including Lakshmi as this amazing goddess is also coming to the West. I love writing about her because it's a way in to talking about the spirituality of money. Now, I know that not everyone is as familiar with this idea of talking about goddesses or, or uh, the feminine face of God. So I want to just read this one paragraph I wrote. I said, why are we Westerners not as familiar as we could be with the idea of a goddess of abundance? One reason is that we tend to see money as the root of all evil. And while many of us no longer want to believe that money is evil, and yes, that is a biblical misquote, uh, money is not the root of all evil. It's not what it says in the Bible. Um, we nonetheless uh, have shifted to seeing, we have not shifted to seeing money as a positive form of energy. At best, we think of it as a neutral tool, but rarely do we see money as spiritual, as something that can be seen as coming from spirit and used in an extremely positive way. The other reason the idea may be foreign to us in the West is that the idea of a feminine notion of God and spirit is still fairly new. Now, I think that's changing, right? I think there are many um, feminine notions of God, but it is such a wonderful way to get into the spirituality of money. For example, in this ebook, I talk about the way to balance out giving and receiving, uh, and that really helps us, helps us have a healthier relationship to money. Lakshmi calls us to really honor money flowing through our life as simply one form of abundance. We have to honor our value in terms of what we can receive. And we have to be really thoughtful about, of course, what we spend. So it's not just about what we earn or what we spend, but it's, it's the entire relationship to money in this um, giving and receiving. I also talk in the ebook about how to clean up and have a more beautiful relationship to money. But, you know, one of the things that I want to um, point out here is that money is very complicated because a lot of the issues in money can be internal, our personal psychology of money, and many are external, not of our making, you know, from um, society. So this is partly why getting into the spirituality of money can be so helpful to look at healing this. When people only value the inner realm, the spiritual side of life, then sometimes they can fall into noble poverty. And I write about this in the ebook and meaning that we can undersell ourselves because we feel that money will, having money will make us somehow be a greedy person. So we can under earn, we can underspend. Sometimes when people overly value the exterior, the material side of life, that can sometimes lead us to overspend or even over earn. So, you know, these are all different ideas that I explore, but really this is about being in a balanced relationship to money. Lakshmi and the energy of Lakshmi calls us to heal the split between spirit and matter uh, and between inner and outer. Money is divine energy. And so many of us crave having this positive relationship with money and feeling so good about our relationship to money. And Lakshmi is one way to help us tap into that feeling of abundance internally that of course we also wanna manifest externally. So I hope you enjoy the ebook. If you'd like a copy of it, go ahead and email me, seattlemoneycoach.com. Um, I am a money coach and I work with women all over the United States and I specialize in helping women rise above the money fog. So I hope you enjoy the Lakshmi ebook.